Tirana Connectivity Forum 2023 hosted a session dedicated to the project, Connected We Can, strengthening WB6 CSOS agency in economic and investment plan. 12 EIP flagship projects have been identified by the partnership and are currently being closely monitored with regard to their impact on the ground and engagement of CSOs. The main aim is to identify implementation challenges and best practices. The selected projects amount to 1.2 billion euro and belong to different sectors such as transport, energy, social and environment. Following the presentation of the preliminary findings of the research carried out, a constructive dialogue took place among policymakers from the EU and WB6, think tanks, civil society organizations, and regional cooperation organizations aimed at further enhancing the CSO's engagement in the implementation of EIP. Alongside the forum we expanded our view with the participants on the recently established Western Balkans Corridor as part of the updated Trans-European Network of Corridors, in order to prepare for the forthcoming challenges. The Western Balkan Transport Corridor is almost a reality. Now I think it will be essential to focus on implementation as well as the policy reforms. The projects and the policies, the policy reforms need to go hand in hand. This will make the projects which are on the Western Balkan Corridor sustainable, long-lasting and in benefits to all citizens. Society organizations are bridges between citizens and governments and they have an essential role uh, for contributing to good governance. Uh, they can do it in various ways through advocacy activities, monitoring, uh, capacity building activities and so on. Civil society organization can play a crucial role in constructive engagement. This comes in many ways by being uh, raising accountability, uh, raising awareness to a big investment economic plans and as well as raising uh, accountability from higher institutions to the public. Governance of infrastructure projects represents a vulnerable aspect of EU enlargement in the Western Balkans. If not appropriately structured, it has the potential to undermine the entire economic conditionality integrated into the economic and reforms progress of the WB6 countries. Hence, the monitoring framework of the economic implementation plan should encompass civil society participation. This inclusion is crucial to compensate for the limited parliamentary scrutiny and oversight. The Western Balkans civil society holds a vested interest in ensuring the effectiveness and sustainability of EU financial aid impact.